feeling inspired to connect a little more with your community? It can start with a simple conversation. I'm here with my brother Chris. I don't know if you noticed, but he's black and I'm white, but together we are Del Rey. An unexpected friendship forged over faith, football, and family. And then we just started talking as two men and realized we had a lot more in common than we thought. It was so much more connection that just happened naturally. Now it's a partnership with a purpose. We never thought when we did this that it would be so necessary. Chris Caesar and Steve Mushlitz have different backgrounds, different political parties. There's a 20 year age difference, but they share one common message. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, Christian, non-Christian, you know, it don't matter. The, the left wing and the right, right wing is on the same, same bird. bird. Now for the second year, they're hosting Cars in Conversation, Unity in the Community, Delray Beach. After an exhausting election that divided the country, these men sharing experiences while talking race relations and finding common ground. Now we have to come together as a nation because we're all Americans. Yeah. We all live here. Yeah. There's no reason why we can't appreciate each other and learn from each other and get along. Finally, we end with a veteran who is inspired to do a lifetime of good, thanks to his mom. I'm blessed and, uh, you know, it's my way of giving back to the community. For Ron Jones, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, nor does his desire to help others. My mom started doing uh, volunteer work there in St. Louis, and she got an award, and she's... Uh, and that influenced me. She got a Volunteer of the Year award, and I said, if she can do it, I'm younger, so I can do it too. His mom showed him those who have should help those who don't. His childhood taught him what the latter feels like. My mother raised four kids, single parent. And uh, some days she had money, and some days she didn't have money. It was stressful at the time. But I didn't realize how bad the stress it was being a kid. It's why for the past 15 years, every Tuesday, this Vietnam veteran loads up his truck with food. Yeah, I pick it up at the Rocky Mountain Food Bank. And delivers it to a growing number of the hungry at the Zion Senior Center. I definitely have seen it go up uh, during the pandemic, especially. Um, I think that we, in some cases, have, have doubled uh, what we have served in, in the past, so for sure. And then, of course, when you look at the state of the economy and just the tremendous need around the community, it just makes this resource all the more valuable. For seniors like Janet Schaefer, this is what keeps her afloat. I'm picking up some, some vegetables and food to help last me until I get my check next month. So um, this is just to help out a little bit. Park Hill really is a food desert. The nearest grocery store is roughly two miles away, maybe a little more than two miles away. And so by having access to the commodities that Ron brings to us, it enables people to stretch their dollars. Sadly, Ron's mother passed away last month, but her compassion and her fierce devotion for helping others live on in her son. It's my way of giving back and I say, as long as I got my help, and I can do it, I'm going to do it. It's incredible to see people in our communities working together just to make them better. You can find more inspiring stories on goodtoknowtv.com. The good stuff is out there. Isn't that good to know?